This tutorial explains how to use the Enhanced Security History application to track user activity and how to view the UX1 page that records data from this new application. This enhancement provides granular visibility into user access from various types of clients and helps in making better security decisions. To track the user security activity, you must enable the Security History table in the Server Manager console. This setting enables you to capture additional user level details such as client host name, environment, path code, role, long user ID, applications release and tools release during user sign in and sign out actions. Let's access the work with user security application. This enhanced security history application provides additional user level details such as client host name, environment, path code, role, long user ID, applications release and tools release. Using this information, you can quickly identify and block any unauthorized external access to the applications. You can also view, analyze and report user activity based on the data captured in the UX1 graphs. These graphs help in providing better input to the security audit process and help in troubleshooting security issues. These charts are filtered by login history. By default, the charts are rendered using the delivered queries. You can view the login history by top 10 clients. Here, you can see the clients that are used the most to access JD Edwards Enterprise One and you can use this information to identify if there is any man-in-the-middle attack from any of the clients. You can use this data to block external access. Least 10 clients. Here, you can see the clients that are rarely used. You can use this information to decommission the clients if they are no longer needed. Top 10 users. Here, you can see the users who are frequently using the JD Edwards Enterprise One application for their daily activities. This data helps you to identify the users with high level of activity and also to flag users who might have abnormal activity on the system. This data also helps you to identify if there is a particular section or sector within your business where the activity load is higher than the other areas. Environment. Using this information, you can identify different environments accessed by a user and the environments that are most accessed. This information helps in auditing. Role. Using this information, you can identify the different roles and the frequency in which each role is used by a particular user. Day. This graph shows how many users were logged into JD Edwards Enterprise One on a particular day. Month. Here you can see how many users were logged into the JD Edwards Enterprise One in a particular month. Top 10 failed login attempts. This graph shows the different client machines that were frequently trying to access JD Edwards Enterprise One and failed. This information helps you to identify unauthorized access. You can change the begin date and end date as required. To use a different query, you can modify any of these queries or create a new query that meets your requirements. For more information, visit us at learngd.com. Thanks for watching.